Okay, so um, we're going to ask you a couple of questions. We're going to get back to, to the other celebrities. We're going to go with our dear Javier, who's an amazing host, too. I mean, I mean, you can do everything. Hello. Your, your talent is just, wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, Javier, um, what is the process of making of the music you make? What is your process to make music? Um, I've always been very um, ocean oriented. I usually go to the beach and I like to draw. Uh, the sound of the sea is very relaxing for me. So uh, I, 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 I tend to go there. I, I don't know if uh, the other guests, if it happens the same for you, but it's like a calling. It's like a call when when you uh, you feel like picking up a guitar or you feel like grabbing a pair of uh, um, shoes and walking to the beach and draw something or or go with your friends. So it's very nature um, driven. Uh, I, I, I um, uh, first I go to nature to listen and then I focus on trying to do my my things. I think nature is a big master and I try to appreciate it and listen to it as much as I can. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Fran, do you have another yes. question? Yes, I do. Uh, Javier, how has the music influenced your life and the decision to study this career? That's a question I, I actually love. I have spoke about it with many people. I it helped me realize a lot of uh, skills I had, you know, um, uh, I'm not really afraid of speaking in public or in front of people. I actually quite like uh, being with people and being surrounded by people. And in a way, I think of myself as very histrionic. Uh, I like, um, uh, how can you say that? <laughs> not so super arrogant, but I like, I, I don't mind being the center of attention. I don't mind it. And I think you need a lot of that for being a teacher and confronting around 40 to 45 people every day or, or around 200 people each day. So, and, and also uh, it helps a lot with uh, volume and with expression, uh, uh, the developing myself musically, it helped a lot to develop uh, the skills that I, I thought as a teenager I will need for being what I wanted to be, a teacher. And so I think if I, if, if I wasn't so interested in art, I probably wouldn't be a teacher. Uh, I, 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 I know it sounds contradic contradictory because usually if you're so uh, uh, driven by art, you should be an artist, yeah, a full-time artist. But uh, that wasn't wasn't ever my intention ever. I never had that 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 thing of I just want to be one thing. I really wanted to be go to school to become a teacher and try to get a, a master degree or PhD. Try to become an academic and also on top of that uh, the art the art. And so it was quite a, a motivating force for me to to be artistic, to choose who, who I am today. Mm -hmm. Excellent answer. Okay, mm -hmm. very good. Um, Thank you. Yes, I think um, we all have a little bit of, of an artist inside. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. Most teachers teachers of English, right? We, we just love art so much. Mm -hmm. uh, it helps a lot. Okay, so we're going to go with... Uh,